What is going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford in Connecticut. And today we are going to be looking at the draft day trade during the 2007 NFL draft that saw the Cleveland Browns select quarterback Brady Quinn. So this trade started off pretty simply. So the, the Browns would receive the 22nd overall selection from the Dallas Cowboys in exchange for the 36th overall selection and a 2008 first round pick. So with the 22nd overall pick, the Cleveland Browns would select quarterback Brady Quinn. And Brady Quinn was supposed to be, you know, an answer to the Browns' never-ending quarterback question. And unfortunately for him, he would only appear in one game as a rookie. But midway through his second year, 2008, he would end up stepping into the starter's role due to injuries and poor play. But he struggles and ends up getting hurt. Then we get to his third year, and he's again kind of the starter, but he still struggles immensely. And he ends up getting traded. Now he gets traded to the Denver Broncos in exchange for running back Peyton Hillis, a 2011 sixth round pick, and a 2012 fifth round pick. So it gets a little messy here. I do apologize. But so we'll start with Peyton Hillis here. And Peyton Hillis, he has an amazing breakout year his first year in Cleveland. And he just dominates. He ends up winning the Madden 12 cover title. So he's he's on the cover of Madden 12. If it was a fan vote that year, it got down to him versus Michael Vick, and he was kind of the underdog, and he ends up winning. I voted for Vick. I'll tell you guys that right now. But um, what ends up happening after that one breakout year is he ends up struggling immensely in 2012, deals with injuries, and then he ends up walking as a free agent, and his career never recovers, but he only had the one great year. Um, the 2011 sixth-round pick, would become the 168th overall selection. Now, they would end up trading the 168th overall selection along with the 170th to the Minnesota Vikings in exchange for pick 150. So, with the 150th pick, the Browns would select offensive tackle Jason Pinkston, who is the, I believe, I don't remember if it's cousin or brother of former Eagles receiver Todd Pinkston, for the record. Pretty sure it's cousin, but... Yeah, so Pinkston ends up starting 25 games over his first three years, but it ends up they end up discovering that he has a blood clot in his lung, so he has to take time off immediately, and he effect, he just eventually retires due to the risk. It wasn't worth it to him. It wasn't worth it for the team. You know, They didn't want to risk the guy's long-term health like that, something that you could easily drop from instantly. So, yeah, it was pretty unfortunate, but they had to do it. And in tw- the 2012 fifth round pick from Denver that Cleveland would acquire would become the 160th overall selection, which the Browns would use to select guard Ryan Miller. And Ryan Miller, he would play in eight games as a rookie before leaving the team. So not the best pickup, but not horrible. So how did Dallas do? So the 36th selection ends up getting traded along with the 87th and 159th to their arch-rival Philadelphia Eagles in exchange for pick 26. So that 26th pick would become linebacker Anthony Spencer. And Anthony Spencer, he spends two years as a backup, but then he breaks out. So he would start 61 games over the next four years for Dallas, and he was a formidable opponent. And once then he starts getting sacks. But then we get to 2013, injuries really start to kick in. He only appears in one game. And then 2014, he ends up becoming a backup. And then he just walks fed up with the whole thing in Dallas. And he made one pro ball in Dallas. Finally, we get a pro baller in this video. Um, How did that 2008 first round pick work out for Dallas? Well, with that, the first overall or their first round pick from Cleveland would become the 22nd overall. And with that pick, Dallas would select running back Felix Jones. So Felix Jones shows a lot of explosiveness as a rookie, but he ends up suffering a torn hamstring. Now he ends up playing well over the four seasons, but he didn't live up to the first round status, especially for a running back. So all in all, not the best pick for Dallas. So that covers Cleveland and Dallas. How did the other teams do? Uh, We'll start with Philadelphia. Now remember, Philadelphia got picks 36, 87, and 159. So with their 36th selection, they would select quarterback Kevin Cobb. So Kevin Cobb, he's a backup for three years, and he becomes the starter for the Eagles in 2010. 
before he ends up getting a concussion opening day against the Packers. And Michael Vick ends up taking over, and the writing was on the wall for him. So Cobb ends up getting traded. And this was actually mentioned in a previous video. We had the Kevin Cobb trade breakdown. Definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it already. He gets traded to Arizona. So that's already out there. With the 87th pick, the Eagles would select a linebacker, Stuart Bradley. Now, Bradley was a special teamer as a rookie, and then he has a very strong second season. But by the time he's looking up, he ends up tearing his ACL prior to his third year. And then his fourth season, he again deals with various injuries before he ends up walking as a free agent. And lastly, with the 159th pick, they would select safety C.J. Gaddis. And Gaddis did not make the team. How did Brady Quinn do in Denver? Well, not that good. So Brady Quinn would spend two years as a backup before he just walked. Now, lastly, we have Minnesota. And Minnesota got those two picks for 150. And with the 168th pick, they would select offensive tackle Demarcus Love, who didn't do all that much. Um, he just didn't play any games over two years before he got cut. And with the 170th pick, they went with safety Mr. Raymond. And Mr. Raymond was a decent backup. He was a spot starter for three seasons, and he made 10 starts over those three years. So not a great player, but not a bad player. He, he, he played when he needed to. So that was the Brady Quinn trade. Um, who won this trade? You know, you hate to say it, but it's kind of a draw. Because Dallas got Anthony Spencer, so that kind of wins it for them. But you can't forget Peyton Hillis, who ends up becoming a byproduct of this trade for Cleveland. He has a good career, too. You know, he has a good single season where he really helps the Browns. And he got them a lot of notoriety by being on the cover of Madden. And even the Eagles got themselves a good player with Kevin Cobb. Stuart Bradley was one of my favorite players for a couple years. Um, Minnesota and Denver got nothing. But still, interesting trade. Um, Brady Quinn was expected to go much earlier in this draft. And he just kept falling. I remember all the rumors. People were like, oh, why is Brady Quinn falling? He was projected to go top 10, at, by, according to some. So he definitely did not live up to that hype. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great rest of your day.